okay so welcome back uh, <clears throat> we'll do we'll start off with the exercise and as mentioned earlier uh, here we in this first first what we will do is we will discuss about uh, me of group data where we will be learning about three methods that is one is the direct method the second one is the assumed mean method and the third one will be step deviation method okay so now we will see i'll try to solve three different questions with this three different methods each okay like three different questions with the three methods one after another so now for this question but like which method to use and uh, there is no hard and first rule that you will have to use that method question did you not i should do yes that method to chola wala ye wali question did you not na ego should do ni jor khushik ta method chola wana wali ma man population to be sawa lage population to be important as a and the number number the number of plants and houses can do sawa lage yeti whatever entries the in as it don't be so we do so for them on it open the method to love that is we decide so now here what i will do here is um i will use the first method direct method now the question will be why why because here the number of plants and the number of houses are like small now two 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 yes you know two one pasta choita duita tinda na to six to eight eight to ten it's not like hundreds you know zero to hundred zero to twenty zero to forty or total will be like number to be twenty eight thirty one hundred one seventeen eighteen in here nine and simple simple values small values as here so that is why we will use the direct method here now what was the formula for finding out the uh, mean using direct method the formula was x bar will be equal to total of the frequency and its product with the entries divided by the total number of frequency so what we will do now is for that we will prepare a small table okay for that we will prepare a small table where the class interval is given by 0 to 2 2 to 4 4 to 6 6 to 8, 8 to 10, 10 to 12, 12 to 14. So next is x. Now x actually somehow like in other words, simple words, you know, like middle term of the class interval. Okay. So like what is the middle term of the class interval here? So it is all middle term to one in easy which is like zero or two la majority middle to one is it or not isn't it but if you want to calculate calculate the curve for a word that is x i x i means like x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 x7 na first second third like you do like upper limit plus lower limit we divided by two that is 0 plus 2 na idu 0 plus 2 divided by 2 2 by 2 that will be 1 to ki dewa the direct na para dem dia mani ni like we can just add also no problem with that okay mani ni add pe kuri bo pare bo so that will be 1 yet la middle value 3 4 and 6 6 or 8 the 7 8 9 8 or 10 la ma jeta na ye dene man chini bo pare na hali bi in the parish will be ni for example yet la ga shi le 12 plus 14 26 divide by 2 that will be 26 divided by 2 so that will be 13 na? now the frequency so the frequency so the frequency is given to us frequency first frequency f1 na? f i means it f1 f2 na individually count for them within here correct 5 6 2 3 so next for direct method it's very simple just find out the product of f and 
x that is 1 into 1 1 3 2s are 6 5 1s are 5 7 5s are 35 9 6 are 54 11 2s are 22 13 3s are 39 now with the add pressure value we will get uh, 39 22 54 we will get 162 and total of this frequency sorry total of this frequency will be 2 3 4 9 15 16 17 18 19 20 so now once we have these values the mean using direct method x bar will be summation of the total or summation of the product of frequency and x the middle value of the class interval divided by n so that will be uh, if you just substitute the value how much class mark no? Fre uh, I mean uh, this represents class mark so mean using direct method will be summation of the product of frequency with its class mark this represents act actual name is class mark okay class mark so which is calculated as upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2 so summation of the product of the frequency with its class mark divided by n n actually represents total of frequency which is also denoted by summation of f so it is 162 divided by 20 so 210 to 81 so it will be 81 by 10 so that will be 8.1 okay so if you want to write down the answer like we can also write down like since number of plants and houses are small in their values we choose direct method okay so that will be the conclusion for this first question so this is the way we can solve for small entries using direct method so in the next video i will show you on how we do using uh, assumed mean method and step deviation method also okay so thank you